very shocking news coming from Canadian Immigration Department that some people are being deported from the Canadian airports. It's very shocking news because we are already promoting the people moving to Canada and people getting tourist visas by listening YouTube clips and uh, those innocent people uh, wanted to enter Canada but at airport some families have been deported these are the news coming I took these details uh, and this uh, is uh, these are the news coming in recent times therefore it's very necessary to tell you if you stamped your passport of tourist visa this clip is very precious if in the future you are going to canada this clip is very important you might be very happy in your village in your house in your country and you are celebrating your canadian tourist visa or any other visa you are having uh, you are having an invitation the people are coming to your home what happened when you reach a canadian airport and in the next flight you come back to your own country which face you will show to your relatives which face you will show to your kids which face you will show to your parents so quite alarming quite deteriorating so i uh, i thought this clip is a very important and this clip is very important to record to give you all information when i investigated these cases for example one family coming from nigeria when he reached a toronto airport in toronto airport immigration officer asked some questions they were they did answer and after that the immigration officer told that uh, sorry you are not able to enter Canada and you have to go back to Nigeria and in the next flight uh, they were sent to the Nigeria these are the news uh, scattered like fire all over the world and similarly other families are also uh, deported uh, from the Canada not uh, many families but some families but even one family deported so though your family could be in that place if you are going to Canada please listen my clip in full because I am going to tell you key point of today clip and key point of this deportation if you will carry this point when you are moving to Canada nobody can deport you this is because of unawareness of the law that's the objective of my office and objective of my channel what is objective of my office and what is the objective of my channel you are educated person you are educated person and you are mashallah uh, much uh, trained person most of the people who are moving to canada they are not ordinary people they are educated people and they are the people of uh, quality they are men of letters if you are educated and you did not study the law of, from the website of ircc i will tell you today even during applications i told you in cover letter so much recordings i did right this thing in cover letter even in the student visa i write this thing in the student sop statement of purpose and different points in the different visas in talking about tourist visa because tourist visa tourist visas uh, families uh, are deported from canadian airport now i am going to tell you what happened actually in that case and how their fam those families could save themselves from deportation and they were able to enter Canada and that that was very easy point nobody told them no lie told them because they those were being handled by agents when I investigated I got information they went to Canada by agents agents mean they just submitted their documents might be fake documents but when they entered Canada they did not know which point they have to explain to the visa officer in the last uh, in the last two minutes i will tell you key point please keep listening my clip in full because in the last two point the point i will speak that is a billion dollar point that will save your money that will save your trip you will be able to enter canada you will not be able to deport at any level nobody can deport you no lie will tell you no consult 
constant will tell you because they will charge money and uh, that's the main reason i am as i am a uh, little a bit claiming you that you are so educated person why you don't apply yourself why you don't submit documents yourself why you don't know that which documents you have deposited but here this is not the question of uh, the depositing of the documents the question is why they deported from the canadian airport canada airport i and uh, i will before discussing this point which is very precious point i will tell you two three points then i will come to the conclusion that if they should have been told immigration officer this point immigration officer could allow them in that to enter canada and you will do same thing same answer which i will tell you i am little a bit scared if you will enter canada and you will answer same as nigerian family did and you may be also deported and that will little a bit uh, shocking for me if that would happen from pakistan india because those are my brothers and sisters therefore i have to explain this point and please uh, first of all uh, i would uh, two points i need to explain before that key point the point is that you know uh, the last point i will explain please listen in clip if you will not explain the whole your energy whole my energy will be wasted please listen because you know in the last uh, i am speaking that point because you will write please bring your copy bring your pencil and write even you did not have canadian visa hopefully you will have canadian visa you will be celebrating when you will enter canada in the next flight you will be go back to pakistan go back to india what you will do so better you understand yaar the point i am explaining before that you know that why this deportation of a key point i will tell you why deportation occur this is a question then i will tell you key point uh, deportation is occurring uh, because uh, you will tell sir earlier the deportation was not there in the 2022 there was very less cases of deportation in 2023 there are more cases of deportation the reason is that tourist visas numbers have been increased these days canada aced the visa the tourist visa you are listening all over number of the tourist visas have been increased that people are getting tourist visas so much that in the airports the immigration officer is a very busy person therefore immigration officer is judging by questioning that you are genuine visitor or not now i am telling you the key point what is the key point when they entered nigerian family entered the canadian airport toronto the immigration officer told why you entered why you want to enter canada would you like to get work permit would you like to get work permit they said yes we want to work every each person wanted to work in canada from pakistan from india if you will get tourist visa you would like to get work permit when you will enter canada why there is need to tell immigration officer in the in the, at the airport even why there is a need to tell in the visa application in the visa application you will not tell they got visa because they did not tell this point if they did tell this point in the visa application their visa would have been refused they did not tell this point they told this point at toronto airport and they were even you will write in visa application your visa will be refused you will write in canada you know the two points i told canadian visa visit visa law is separate when you will enter you cross the airport the law is separate just two minute after just two minute after when they crossed the airport they crossed immigration they can say we came for work permit because no law is different because you entered canada that is a tourist visa to the work permit that is the actual story before entering canada you can't say a tourist visa to the work permit that's the story thank you very much